All right. Hello, everybody. This is Live with Lashley. And I'm here today. We're going to talk. I'm just going to talk here for like 10 seconds. So hopefully, we get a couple people to tune in here uh, to watch the show today live. Uh, it will also be posted on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram later, uh, right after the video, after we get done talking today. So today we got a very special episode. I get a, tons of people asking me all the time, or I've heard talk of why or why shouldn't you cut dairy out of your diet. So I'm going to touch on a couple of things why you should cut dairy out of your diet. All right. So this is actually why we're just going to today. We're going to cut dairy right out of the diet. The main reason why you want to cut dairy out of your diet is because three-fourths of the world is actually lactose intolerant. So what a lot of people don't know is that you probably could even be lactose intolerant or allergic to milk and not even know it. So you know, just and just because you're you're like lactose intolerant doesn't mean as soon as you drink milk you're gonna have like diarrhea or whatever. It can be pretty subtle. But what this means is is that even if you are subtly lactose intolerant, your body isn't going to absorb the calcium in the milk uh, from from your absorb everything from the milk that you really want to get out of it when you drink it. So that's actually a big one of the biggest reasons why. Uh, there's plenty of scientific studies that show that like 75% of all people are, are lactose intolerant and like 50% of them don't even know they are. So that is a, a huge reason why you should cut it out. Um, it can be beneficial, um, especially I guess if you know that you're not lactose intolerant, it could be beneficial because it's a high source of protein, healthy fat, and, uh, um, and calcium for your body. So most of the times, though, it's just a bad, bad decision. Uh, so, two, uh, what a lot of people do too is they turn towards uh, substitutes for for milk. Like you hear a lot of people they'll drink they'll drink soy milk, which is the absolute worst freaking thing you could do. All right, I absolutely hate soy milk. Two, why I hate it is because you think about it, think about if you ever have, know anybody that owns a farm or, one second here, there's a farm, right? If someone, if someone owns a farm or something, the thing they do to fatten their cows up or their pigs, whatever they have at the farm, and they, they feed those animals, they feed them soybeans, they feed them corn, and everything else. So that's actually what you're putting into your body. Um, you're, just, you're putting in that soy, and it's honestly, it's just getting turned straight into fat. Um, there's, no, there's no health benefit at all, especially soy proteins, because they're industrial, you know, they're industrial made to be a protein, so they honestly, they don't do crap for you. A better alternative for a milk substitute would be like almond milk or coconut milk. Uh, those are my two favorite substitutes for for that that are actually going to give you benefits and going to give you nutrition so they're probably going to be easier to absorb into your body because uh, a lot of times too i'll use i love telling people to use almond butter uh to use peanut butter to use avocado oil coconut coconut oil to cook with or eat uh, it's 10 times better it's healthier healthier fats and it's easier for your body to absorb and uh, there's a lot more, a lot more protein in them. So, uh, so that's that's a big thing why I, I don't like, I do not like soy milk. It just it straight up just makes you fat. For men, it's super super estrogenic too. So it's going to lower your testosterone. There's even a lot of studies show that for men, soy soy milk is going to lower your testosterone and make you infertile. Too. So I mean, obviously, you know, lower testosterone and stuff. Stuff doesn't work down there, right? Um, so my best advice to you is to stop drinking dairy and switch to either coconut milk, almond milk, if you need to have milk. And if you absolutely cannot put milk out of your life, 
the best option to do is go make sure you get organic, organic milk somewhere. That's the only way that you should honestly be drinking dairy is if it's organic milk. And even then, there's still a lot of impurities and stuff that can be still, that, the hormones are coming through the cow that can be put into your body. So, this was live with Lashley. If you have any questions, hit me up. You know, tune in Monday through Friday. I'll be posting a video every day about during lunch. So it's lunch, lunch time. You can click on here and watch this for like five minutes. Learn something cool. Uh, if you have any questions or whatever, hit me up. I hope to see you in the gym here at Lashley Training Center sometime. If you're not, just remember, if you believe it, you can achieve it. So have a good day, guys. Have a happy weekend. Try to do something fun.